what is Miracon? So it stands for the Middle East, Eastern Europe, Central Asia, and North African Rabies Control Network. Um, shortened, obviously, to something a little bit more manageable in the name Miracon. And it is a regional network dedica dedicated to rabies control and elimination. And um, the Global Alliance for Rabies Control, along with partners um, in the Fondation Merieu and other partners and stakeholders, um, are the coordinators and are part of the steering committee for the network. But importantly, this network is a country-centric net network that is run and, and driven by the countries that are participating. And the idea behind Mericon, as um, Valentina mentioned, is to continue the successes from the former Mirab network. And she also mentioned that the importance of this network is that it aligns with the other regional networks and most importantly with the global strategic plan of zero deaths by 2030. So this map just gives a very brief overview of the various different um, member countries that have participated in the past and um, were included in the network and we've already seen new countries being included in the form of Qatar um, who I see are present in this, this uh, webinar, so welcome to you. And if you see any other countries where um, you know focal persons or whether um, they have an interest in attending and joining the Miracon network, we welcome the participation of other countries into these regional rabies control networks. So you may be sitting here wondering why are we doing this? What are the aims of Miracon? And why should you dedicate some of your time to, to participate within these networks? So importantly, the Miracon Network aims to align countries with the Global Strategic Plan. Um, and that is to provide support to countries working towards elimination. And also, as I mentioned, to unite countries with the common goal of rabies elimination with that regional approach. And we've already seen the importance of this with Dan's presentation. And as Valentina also mentioned, um, an important aspect of this is to generate advocacy and awareness towards rabies control and elimination, highlighted by the, the, the uh, comments that Prof, Prof Nal also gave at the beginning of the presentation in relation to the COVID-19 pandemic. So how does Miracon fit in with the Global Strategic Plan? So importantly, the Global Strategic Plan focuses on a few key points, and that is a country-centric approach, um, which is absolutely critical to rabies elimination. And the, the objectives include a means to share knowledge and lessons learned, to provide training and a means to, to disseminate the latest tools, technologies, and strategies, and to support and enhance collaboration, both nationally and at the regional levels. And these are specific objectives listed within the Global Strategic Plan. So looking at the first desired outcome, a means to share ideas and knowledge and develop a shared vision, how does Miracon then help with this? Well, Miracon unites countries in a region that face similar challenges and brings people together to share those ideas. Um, importantly, it facilitates that regional cooperation, collaboration, and networking, and importantly, addresses that transboundary nature of the disease, as we saw from Dan's presentation. And the idea is that if one country has a positive experience or even negative experiences to share with others, they can disseminate this information and um, create a joint plan to, to achieve rabies elimination in a more efficient way. So the second desired outcome from the Global Strategic Plan is to provide training and a means to disseminate the latest tools, technologies, and strategies. And we'll be hearing about this a bit more later in the second session, but Miracon offers countries guidance with either the development of national strategies, offers surveillance tools, um, it offers education and training. Of course, these are all critical aspects to, to rabies elimination. And it offers awareness and advocacy. So instead of having just your own country standing alone, trying to, to um, make people aware, trying to gain and garner international attention, the Miracon Network can support you in doing that. So looking at the development and revision of national strategies, again, we'll look at this in a bit more detail in the second session um, with the stepwise approach towards rabies elimination workshops. And these workshops will help you to develop and revise your national strategy, 
develop a medium term work plan, demonstrate your progress. And that is extremely important, both within your own country, but also within the region and at the international level to show that your country is progressing and making that um, uh, movement towards the elimination of rabies. So looking at education and training, um, the Miracon Network provides education materials and training on online certificate courses, which um, Dr. Andre Kutzer will pr uh, present to you later in the second session. Um, information and on dog population management, which um, Dan mentioned is an important aspect and something that has been neglected in the past and something that um, we can work together on and help to address as we move forward. Um, it, it provides education and training on mass dog vaccination and also on surveillance and data reporting. And Prof Nell really highlighted the importance of this by linking it with the COVID-19 and our experiences during this pandemic. So looking at um, this, the second aspect to generate advocacy and awareness, and we see this through World Rabies Day. Um, which is a global day on September 28th. I'm sure all of you are aware of World Rabies Day. And the idea behind this is that um, the network, first of all, can help you to promote your, your events and to not only generate um, individual events at a local or national level, but also help to foster and develop um, regional events and regional awareness and advocacy um, and using World Rabies Day as a platform for this. And we can use this to advocate for support, again, addressing the transboundary nature of the disease, um, looking at regional cooperation and raising awareness about rabies, both regionally and internationally, to get that support, to get the funding that we do need um, and to help um, drive activities towards elimination. And importantly, to get that awareness and to get that advocacy, we need to share stories to raise awareness. So. The way forward with Miracon is we've already started with this webinar as an introduction to the tools and resources, which, as I mentioned, we'll see in the second session. And we'll learn about the tools that are available to assist your country in driving progress towards elimination. And hopefully we can get the point across to help you understand how these tools can help you in your specific context, in your own environment and in your own country. Um, to, to help you with your specific challenges. As I mentioned, we, um, the way forward is to advocate for rabies elimination and raise awareness. And we can do this by sharing your stories. Um, so GARC can help you to disseminate your stories about your achievements and progress, no matter how small. Um, if you do World Rabies Day events, we can publicize these and help to um, really raise awareness and advocate for elimination and in your country and help you to put your own country onto the global map, um, showing that your country is taking the initiative and driving forwards to rabies elimination. Again, um, just addressing the aspect of training and assistance. So the important thing is that the Miracon Network can only help you if you request assistance from us, from the steering committee and from the people and the stakeholders who are involved in the Miracon Network. So you will be introduced to the tools and resources. You'll have an idea of what is available, but you will need to then address us and contact us to then ask for detailed training on specific tools of interest to potentially request assistance in developing a strategy um, and whatever your needs, whether it's in terms of resources, training um, or assistance in, in other ways, um, please get into contact with us and, and we will then try to help you wherever possible, either putting you into contact with um, colleagues and other stakeholders or by initiating uh, more detailed training and resource sharing sessions. So to look at this in a summarized way, um, the, the importance of the tools and resources, the introduction and the understanding that these are available to you to advocate to, for support and to raise awareness and then to undertake detailed and, and um, more comprehensive training and assistance for your progression towards rabies elimination. So in conclusion, the Miracon Network will help you to create a regional approach to control rapid elimination, addressing the transboundary nature of the disease, 
to share knowledge, tools, training, ideas, and to create a shared vision um, in line with the global strategic plan of Zero by 30. And this is a network to support your efforts to achieve representation and is based on your needs and has that country-centric approach. So thank you very much for your attention and um, you can contact um, anyone from the Global Alliance for Rabies Control through this email address at the bottom and um, you can visit the Miracon page on the Global Alliance for Rabies Control website too.